All right. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Restorative Practice. My name is Tessa. We're going to utilize um, our props, our cozies. Um, as always, you can do this from the comfort of your bed or a couch. You do not have to be on the floor. Um, but if you are, please go ahead and have your pillows and blankets close by. If you have yoga blocks, of course, you can use those. We're going to have um, basically like one setup with our props and then rearrange our bodies around that setup. So you'll take, if you're using couch cushions or pillows, you'll take and make a little ramp for the spine. Um, and there's like many different ways you can do this, right? Like, so if you have two pillows, you can kind of make it an incline like so. Um, you can make it a higher height by just stacking one on top of the other. Um, so you can kind of play with that based on what kind of opening you want for your chest and your spine and how your low back feels. If your low back is feeling um, sensational or kind of tender, you probably want it more of a slope, so less of an, an arch. And we'll just come down onto our sits bones here, like right behind the very edge of whatever cushion you're using and then take the legs straight out. I'm gonna set something underneath the backs of my knees. You're welcome to do the same. So we'll just take a few moments to kind of adjust. Like usually when you come into a position, you need to make a few adjustments before you settle and you can become still. One thing I would suggest here in this first shape is that the elbows and whatever parts of the arms are on the ground get to rest on something that's tangible so the elbows aren't floating in space. And if that's you, um, maybe grab an extra folded blanket or pillow and slide them underneath the elbows so that your whole upper body is supported. Take a few breaths here to start to settle in. Maybe let your eyes close. And start to become aware of the physical body. And as you lie here and you arrive into your practice onto your mat, let the palms face up towards the ceiling. And a gesture of just being open to receive. The last few days of the year of 2021. Like most of us, I've been doing a lot of thinking about what 2022 will bring and what I'd like it to bring. And so one question that I would pose for you for the practice today is, what would you like to feel more of in 2022? So the emphasis being on feel, what would you like to feel more of in 2022? And with our hands or palms open to the ceiling, being willing to receive that. Take a few breaths there to allow whatever thoughts to percolate, whatever images to arise.
And so let's start to build on to this shape. We're gonna take the knees, bend them. If you're using something underneath the backs of the knees to prop the legs, you might keep that. As you take the knees wide, soles of the feet together. You can adjust the props as you need to support the outer edges of the legs. If you have an extra blanket, I always like to tuck the blanket over the top of my feet so I get a little extra padding around the bony part of the ankle that's kind of touching the floor. Settling back to the breath, the body. Starting to take the breath awareness down to the belly. As this idea of what you'd like to feel more of in the new year starts to percolate. Can you visualize yourself feeling that feeling going about the rest of your day? What would it look like? What would it feel like to have this quality in place? as you go about the rest of your day. about three more breaths here. And if you've come to a place of peace in this shape that you're currently in, feel free to stay if you don't want to move anywhere else. If you would like to move into a different shape, kind of press up into your hands, come up to a seat. I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a twist and further the hip opening work we've been doing. So the left hip scooches up to the very edge of that cushion as it's already positioned. And then so I'm rolling on, I'm sitting on my left hip and my right knee is behind the sole of my left foot. So my legs are like staggered um, or like a pinwheel shape. And then I'm going to turn to frame out my cushion with my hands. So now I'm adding on this layer of twist through the spine. And I'm going to breathe in and lift my heart. And then start to walk down onto forearms and elbows. And what I'd recommend is starting off 
by letting your left cheek rest on the mat. So you're on your left hip and your left cheek is resting. A little bit of your left chest is resting also. If you don't have the right height underneath your chest and your belly, you can adjust that. You can add height or you can remove height. We'll start to settle in here. As we settle in and start to bring the mind back to this idea of a particular feeling that you would like to have more of in your coming year, it might manifest as, again, as I said, like a visualization of this quality or characteristic you have in place. You can imagine as you go about your day with this quality or characteristic in place, what would that be like as you interact with others? Your relationship to yourself and your relationship to others. I'll be here for about one more minute. If you would like to further this twist through the spine, you can lift up the head and take the right cheek down to the mat. Not too much on the spine, just feel free to unwind and come back to left cheek. Take two more breaths, and if you've got your right cheek down, unwind that. So bring your left cheek back. Start to unwind the spine. Take one more breath here. And then start to bring the palms underneath the shoulders, lift your chest up. Come back to both of your sit bones. You're going to Face the same direction you were at the start of your practice. And then we're going to roll onto that right hip. We're just switching sides. So rolling onto the right hip. And then you're going to take that left knee behind the sole of the right foot, turning the torso around to frame out your cushion. You're going to start to lay the right side of the body down. So the rib cage, the chest, the cheek onto your cushion.
you want to turn your gaze away from the knees, like left cheek back to the mat or bolster cushion. So you're furthering into your twist. You could do that. If you take it a step further, I always recommend just giving yourself permission to back out if you realize that one step further was too far. Start to unwind if you've got your left cheek on your cushion, bring your right cheek back. So you're gazing the same direction as your knees. Take one breath here. So to bring your palms underneath your shoulders, press your way up. Running forward. Bring your feet back to um, Baddha Konasana, which is just bound angle in Sanskrit. So soles of the feet are touching, this is the bind. Knees are out wide, Konasana, you're making like a triangular shape or a diamond shape. And then, <clears throat> So from here, I'm going to give you the option to fold in. And so you can do this. You can grab any props that you have behind you and gather them underneath the chest and the belly. You can do this while maintaining an upright seat. Sometimes the body just doesn't let us forward fold as much as we'd like to. So we meet our bodies where they are. One thing I always recommend is if you're sitting more upright is taking that cushion this works better with like a couch cushion and flipping it on its long edge so that you can rest your chin on the short edge of the cushion and i'm demonstrating that here if it doesn't make sense so you can look over at me if you've got a really squishy pillow this isn't gonna work so well you can always just let your chin draw into your chest and or you can forward fold any amount. As you start to find your stillness and your edge in this forward fold, doing your best to relax the body, the muscles, relaxing any tension, thinking back to that quality or characteristic uh, felt sense of what you'd like to carry into 2022. Imagining yourself at the end of your day, going about maybe an evening ritual, bedtime preparations with this quality or characteristic in place. What would that look like? What would it feel like? Thank you. 
Take about two more breaths in your forward fold. And then slowly start to unwind your spine, especially if you were in that deep forward fold. Take a moment here as you sit up tall. Your legs can be in the same position in that fold or you can stretch them out if you need. What I'd like you to do before we move into our next shape is just articulate the spine back and forth. So it's like you're in a seated cat cow, moving spine forward and backward. Few more times. And then if you took your cushion from behind your spine to lay your belly down onto or prop your chin up on, take it back to where you started with it so that as you lay back here, coming full circle, maybe prop underneath the backs of the knees as you stretch your leg forward and out. Coming right back to where you began. And take a few moments, just like you did at the beginning, to adjust into this position. As you come back to this shape, does anything feel different in the body? Soften your elbows, let them rest on something tangible. The surface of the floor, the mat, or extra props. to take um, your last few moments here in this particular shape, bringing to mind that quality or characteristic that felt sense. What are you breathing life into in the new year? And just visualizing yourself. How does it feel to be in your body? How do you stand and hold yourself? Is it different? Has anything shifted? Now, you might be in a place where you'd like to stay for your final Shavasana. Shavasana means corpse pose. So the idea here, the intent or the purpose is that you allow yourself to be still for a few moments. You can integrate everything you've learned about yourself in this short 30 minute practice we have together. There's still lessons there, especially when you spend your time intentionally. We need to become still, this is the belief, so that we can receive those messages so that we can integrate those lessons. Do you need to adjust your props or your body to find that stillness? Maybe that means moving the cushion from underneath the spine and just lying flat on your back coming to an upright seat or even legs up the wall.
Once you do so, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Easy tilt your chin towards your chest. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open your mouth, exhale. Letting go of anything that no longer serves. Let it go, let it rest. Shahasana. If you have more time to spare in your day, please stay in Shavasana as long as you can. Especially if you're feeling yourself drift into a place of peace. Stay with it. If you do need to move on with your day, stretch the arms up and overhead, breathing into the length of the body. And then exhale, you can bend your knees and roll off to a side fetal position for a few moments. And then pressing into your hands and rising up to an upright seat. Just take a moment to close out our practice together, close out the year together, welcoming in the new year. One hand on the low belly, one hand on the heart, growing tall through the length of the spine. As you breathe in, and settling through the tailbone, the sit bones as you breathe out. I'm just giving thanks here and acknowledging that, that quality, that characteristic, that felt sense. It already resides within you. Stack both palms flat against the heart, bow the chin to the chest. Take a moment to honor your effort and your practice with reverence and gratitude to all of our teachers, past, present, future, to the teacher within your own heart. Namaste. Oh, all right, everyone, it's been such a pleasure practicing with you this past year. Thank you for being with me today. Um, I'll see you next year, next week. Take care, everyone. Be safe out there.